Good evening. I am free from work and I am on my journey back home. I actually treated myself to namaste and showed up for myself in this way. Even though I didn't make a bunch of money, it really serves my soul so much to be a part of the Namaste family. I went there and I was all by myself and they are always so welcoming and oh I could have stayed there longer just I could tell they wanted to go home and even though I was welcome something told me you know to start heading home it might have been like that uncomfortability of truly being loved and accepted unconditionally <laughs> I'm having to learn to show myself this consistent positive regard. I'm reading this Love Addict book and it's really fascinating the stuff I'm getting into. The journal exercises are extremely difficult and when I say difficult I just mean painful like when you sit with yourself and write and are honest about your feelings and actually go through the exercises, it can be really painful to take accountability and responsibility for the truth and to not be in denial. And I'm having to be with myself in this very intimate way. I would highly recommend this Pia Melody book, P-I-A space M-E-L-O-D-Y. I'm sure you can get it kind of cheap, used, or brand new. If you are willing to invest in yourself, if you notice that you are a love addict, or maybe you're a love avoidant, if any of this resonates with you, please purchase this book, especially if you would enjoy to have a true romance. I'm learning so many different things about myself and about the process of recovery from having co-addicted relationships and I'm having to distance myself and really see like where I stand with other people as I exit myself and sometimes when you exit yourself out of toxic creations the other person will retaliate and attack you from your silence or from your retreat. That might be a key sign that you are in a co-addicted relationship. I am a human being who has put herself out there extraordinarily. It was a childhood fantasy to be loved and adored by the world and to be a role model and to recover from my personal wounds and injuries. I am recognizing my personal journey with the abandonment of myself or the smothering of myself. Those are just simple ways of describing what's going on. I mean, I could go so much more furtherly like extenuating into this subject <coughs> <coughs> only if I had the book though you know what I mean <laughs> I'd have to make some key points I'm probably going to have to read this book repetitively in order to fully digest and reconcile and acknowledge all these things oh, I'm still fighting sickness and I'm having to comfort myself and be there for myself. I also had a very powerful situation today. I've been having a lot of premonitions and dreams and things that have been kind of consuming myself and my thoughts that are completely outside of me that I have, quote, no control over myself receiving this information that is just flowing to me through my meditations. And today, joy, my co-worker from the Purple Rose is no longer at our establishment. And there's, there's great faith within me that knows like what is meant to be. 
how she has been such a great teacher for me and how her studies live on through me as me like I am continuing the class his research there <coughs> <coughs> I can't lie, I would love to work with her more and to be able to do her exercises more pure in ways that she would do it, you know, because I kind of have my own intuitive approach to it, which she totally loves and respects. However, it's important for me to stick to the classic tradition and to honor what she has learned and applied. And what I'm most fascinated in is her ability to be hands on with the human body legally and emotionally and just capable of being able to serve people I actually had someone after she emptied her office showed up to the shop to say thank you to me for recommending her and how helpful she really was I started getting visions where Joy and I had failed like where we were meant to like do things together but like I guess we didn't because we couldn't see our own power of who we were I'm sure there's many other stories here. Though there's like a lot of other information there too. Like the people we were meant to work on might not have really been ready. Or maybe they were and they just wouldn't command their boundaries and say, Hey, I want you both to work on me. Or maybe they just failed to see like how powerful of a healing dynamic we were together. And I really enjoyed working with her partner as well, who was also a very healing source of energy. However, I understand the path that they have chosen together to proceed ahead. It just frustrates me that I feel like her energy isn't being used in the ways that like are so rare. Does that make sense? Like she's kind of like being a parent right now to children. While I respect that decision, another part of me mourns because I have never met a healer like her that has her way of understanding the body and just like is a total painkiller and just goes straight into the pain the way that I do. I see so much a reflection of myself and I literally feel like a part of me is like dying. Like knowing that like one of my greatest blessings from being at the Purple Rose has now exited the building and now her office will be a place where they are making other sources of merchandise which I do assume will bring the shop generative income at the same time I almost wish that they had pushed her services more and made it more known that she was there or that there was some type of different agreement that had been made so that these circumstances would not be at this present time <laughs> I understand completely I'm astral projecting if you will or re-experiencing my experience from leaving the museum that's what I feel like Joy is going through right now as well I'm getting so many visions and so many different dynamics and I'm just having to let Joy make her own personal decisions at where she goes from next from here and I'm trusting her in the hands of divine source and that she will do what's best for her as the time presents itself Part of me is also anxious when I am capable of reuniting with her and getting to do more work, not just on others, also myself. I imagine that is the best way for her personal healing and mine, of course, is for that work. It certainly is work having to face ourselves in this way, and I would love to do her work on her as well. That is a big dream of mine. And I just feel so blessed to like know this woman and to have had these experiences. However, I do feel like a huge chapter of my life is slightly closing. And as I come into the process of my healing as well, I start to recognize a lot more things as I begin to watch myself. working to love myself in this very intimate way that I have seeked a partner to treat me with this loving kindness and respect and now I am having to be the best boyfriend I've ever had where I am purchasing myself flowers I am treating myself to meals where in the past I would not have spent my money in that way and I'm giving in to my
my inner kid wants and needs and having to be honest with myself of like yeah I really do love this even though like others might make fun of me or there might be consequences or states of being in trouble for having these attachments however this is how I have to honor myself and respect who I am and all that I am it's hard just to breathe and to sit through the uncomfortability part of the healing and recovery process of this love addiction is entering a state of withdrawal and in this state of withdrawal there is a lot of loneliness and a lot of surfacing memories of the past that still haunt us that make us reach out for other people or food or addictions and addictions can go so many different ways. It can go as food or drugs or television or activities, video games, studying, workaholics, gambling, so many different things. And having to be honest with the self and take inventory. For me, I can also see my spending addiction that when I enter a state of unhappiness or feeling insufficient that sometimes I will spend trying to make myself feel like I am secure by investing in myself in this way. Though sometimes it can also leave me feeling rather empty when I make the purchases of the things that I think I want and then entering a state of still feeling empty and lonely. And I'm recognizing where the childhood imprints are connected and I have mourned several times for the childhood self and also the adult self who still cries and cares about these things that I like to tell myself stories that I'm okay and that didn't bother me all the things that I blacked out all the painful memories all the ways that I didn't open up and express to the other attempting to save the other from my pain that they had caused me that I did not want to look at them with I attempted to save them that through my love and my affection though part of me also screams that if I really loved them I would be able to be honest with them and tell them how they can be a better human being how they can be more affectionate how they can be connected I hold no regrets I am grateful for all the lessons I recognize all the mistakes I have made and I'm grateful for the mistakes I have made for they have caused me a great severe amount of wounds so that I can sincerely know myself deeply and intimately in these ways exercise right this moment um, I do these exercises for other people and I just kind of entered an automatic state of thinking and feeling and being which was allowing myself to receive the energy that I did not receive from the person that I am seeking the positive regard unconditionally Also where I create like addictive relationships attaching myself to select individuals with expectation of them to give care to like my needs in places where I might need to learn how to do that for myself as much as I appreciate my team and those who have served great great effort great intentions, great prayers. I'm thankful for you being there. However, it's up to me to be there for myself in ways that I have never been. And I said that I never knew how. However, through the stages of recovery from love addiction, 
it makes a lot things clear and working things out naturally. I do apologize that I haven't really been present or in the water. When I'm going through emotional turmoil, I tend to run away from what I need the most. So I'm kind of like punishing myself right now. Plus, the waters have been extremely cold. So there's another reason that I run from that. And part of that is a joke because it's really only cold outside and the water is actually warm. <laughs> I've also been keeping my bath time very sacred and pure and alone. I am cloistering my energy. I am not necessarily being funded by you. There's many of you who are not funding me and still demanding my energy, my attention, and knowing more deeply and intimately about me without actually having any genuine investment in my actual overall well-being. Many of you have your own will and intentions of what you would do with me. If you had your way, without even caring what my way might be. I still have the greatest intention of being of great assistance to others. And continuing with the dream that I have visioned so many times with my team. Of what could be possible if we could all just be a healthy network together. I am being patient and reserved. As best that I can as I come to find more medicines, if you will. I do like to call myself Trina Medicine. And if I ever open up this dream establishment, I would love to honor the name Trina Medicine and still call it that. Where I provide healing services of all the different medicines that I believe in that have been accompanying my journey. Such as nature, sound, light, colors, and hands-on activities and lots of play. Lots of play energy and inner kin energy and creativity and tons of gentleness. I'm imagining role play and so many different options of other behavioral sciences, if you will, that could be provided as well. I have many dreams. However, it's really hard to imagine that dream without having sufficient funds. And also having like clarification where this establishment would actually be in the country or without like full recognition of the process. I see a bunch of baby steps and options and I understand that Source will provide what is necessary in order to take the steps forward even if I do have all this will and all this desire to create this establishment. There are some baby steps that are happening for the refining process, such as me going to the Amrit Institute. I believe that is a very key instrument to my personal healing. So if you can have the honor of coming to Florida and spending time at the Amrit Institute, like I would be more than happy to spend time and energy with you there. That is one of my favorite places in the entire world to be, especially if you can have the honor of meeting my guru. <laughs> I want to say my Bapuji. <laughs> He's literally my Bapuji, even though I love his Bapuji. <laughs> I have homework to do and tons of Sanskrit to study. I would love to have like a fantasy of a study buddy who enjoys reading these same things that I value. These books such as the Bhagavad Gita and my Swami Kripalu. Uh, like I don't think it's Kripalu. I think I'm pronouncing it wrong, so please excuse me. I am new. I am still a child within because I am still new to so many things. I'm fantasizing about scuba diving and treasure hunting and traveling and having hand-holding and foot love, of course, is <laughs> a secret wish that I won't lie. is totally there. <laughs> I am patient. <laughs> patience is long suffering. So right now I'm in this state of superior patience. And please know that I am very thankful to you even if I have not been showing you that type of energy. I apologize for my attacks and my reservoir. It's important for me to be recharging my batteries at this time. Perhaps you can take me as an example of something to do for yourself. Maybe take a bath, 
treat yourself with salt water go to a float tank i would highly recommend that if you can afford that mainly financially like <laughs> if you can't escape energetically and get away or like you're too stressed out please i encourage you to do that even more and if you have any questions please reach out to me and be like hey this really struck a nerve with me like i have this question you can send me an email it does help if you send a donation with your email. It kind of shows me that you're really serious about your personal healing and that you're very thankful for the energy that I have been giving you. And I'm doing my very best to give you the best that I possibly can, especially while going through my own select circumstances. So I do apologize if I pushed you very far away. Please just know that it's hard for me to let people in right now as I'm in this like deep, intimate state of healing my personal self, I understand that a lot of you are just like me and have the identical problems, which is also the main reason why I push you away. This is part of me pushing myself away as well. And just know that I am attempting to go deep within myself and access this part of myself and love her extensively in all the ways that no one has been able to do so far, if you will, that I have allowed, <laughs> hence why I'm not married yet. I do still have the dream of having children of my own while also ministering all the children of the earth. I do have a great passion for kids and have a really great connection with children. And huh, I just saw the most interesting critter just fly down. I didn't see it all the way. I'd love to see it more. It looked like some type of insect or something. I am most fascinated by nature. And I'm interested in playing in the woods and going on adventures and having a partner who holds my hand and comes with me through all these things and most of all pushes me, you know, to get up out of bed and go do those things even when all I want to do is just lay in bed and cuddle all day. Like that they can push me outside of myself to get in touch with the part of me that I really love, such as the part of me that has such a strong ability to have such deep intimate connections with everything, basically like plants, animals and people i do recognize my gift of being able to do such a thing and i have the greatest intention of continuing being of service in this way where that i can love others and help them love themselves and be of great service that is my biggest wish is to be of the maximum service as i have been it's been such a pleasure doing these readings and helping all these people I'm also remorseful for those that, like, I felt like I couldn't help, that, like, I did the best I could, but maybe the words came out wrong, and just I wasn't able to fully express, like, what I meant, or that, um, I couldn't get to the core, or that they just weren't ready for me, or I wasn't ready for them to do the work that I needed to do. I have so much love to give, and so much awareness, so it can become self-torturous, when I'm the only one that can keep marks on the tally board, like where I'm messing up and where I need to work on myself. I certainly see the need for going to school. If I really am to pursue this 10 year schooling of acupuncture, I will need a lot of support, a lot of emotional support, especially in mental support. And of course, financial help as much as possible. I do have visions of making that store that I talked about so many times, just again, when it's you being your own, boss and constantly having to do everything all by yourself like it gets really draining sometimes I do wish that like I finally had my life partner and someone who could handle all of, like the online part of my business however I'm just excessively drained at this point and just like trying to put my resources into what feels best and right now what feels best isn't necessarily what feels comfortable like I am to be cooking things that I've never cooked before. I have some things in my fridge that I've never made before in my life, such as chickpeas. I've never done, I mean, I didn't mean chickpeas. Is it chickpeas? I think it is chickpeas, actually. <laughs> no, it's garbanzo, garbanzo beans. It's, I don't know what I'm saying, okay? I, but I have this thing <laughs> that I need to cook excuse me, that I've never cooked before and I'm being shown visions of certain herbs and spices and a way to cook these things and I'm only going to learn by intimate experience so I'm expecting myself to be very uncomfortable and to mess up several times <laughs> as I always do for every time I do something for the first time 
I feel kind of grouchy and grumpy because I recognize like all my mistakes again like there's part of me that is just like the only one that can do that so I feel like oh I messed up and like sometimes it's hard for me to speak up and to like say to the person like yeah I really messed up you know <laughs> and sometimes it can happen with like clients or friends or even people that I was dating and in a relationship with I'm recognizing all these different things and the recovery process is slightly painful yet also intoxicating because I am finally free of the emotional intensity and I really am doing the work and it's so hard I'm having to have my own back. <sighs> So, let me use this time now to do a little promotional plug where I mention that I would love to read your cards for you. I don't care if you read your own cards or if you have someone else who can do things for you. I would love to have personal alone time with you where I get to do a reading on you. I do not need the cards. I do not need any tools. It does help for me to see your eyeballs and to also connect to your energy and your voice. If I can hear you speak, a lot of times I can receive additional information, especially if we can get together in real time, which is like, let's say we're live together at the same time, we're video chatting or we're together in person, I would consider that real time instead of like a virtual reality. Um, excuse my narratives that are total polarities and not really totally adding up 100%. Just trust your feelings and your intuition. I understand I am not for everyone and not everyone is really going to be ready to invest in their personal healing and invest time and energy into these things, especially things that they don't necessarily believe in. However, if I wasn't amazing at what I do, I wouldn't be in the position that I'm in right now and I wouldn't have been making a living for the past, is it four years? I'm actually like losing track at how long I've been doing readings. So I would love to check in with myself and do that if I can remember. It was since 2015, I want to say. I'd have to like really, really check and do homework on my personal path. I might have some pictures somewhere that might help me reestablish like the exact date. Although I do believe it was around 2015. I mean, that's when I started like doing it professionally at the Museum of Mystery and the only difference between professionals and amateurs is that professionals get paid so that's the only difference that I'm using to be able to describe these narratives again thank you so much like only you know how helpful you have been to my life I apologize if I haven't given you the proper credit and worship and attention that it may be deserving of. Just know that it is greatly felt and I am doing my best to make those investments really worth it, if you know what I mean. And sometimes I still don't feel like that's enough and I'm just in this addictive cycle of becoming the best self and being authentic. Thank you so much for allowing me to share with you what I have received. If you would like a personal session or some personal energy where I call you and I focus on you and what you're going through and I'm able to hold a space for you, I'd be more than happy to do this for you. However, I need your personal, you could say attention. However, it's more like your permission. That's more of the word that I mean. Oh no, my snake plant. Did I crack it? I hope it's okay. It's been flying around my car. I brought it home because I need it to get charged in the sunshine a little bit. <sighs> I'm imagining my brother and the idea of calling my brother. The part of me is like insecure that he won't answer. So part of me like won't call. I would enjoy to work on my relationships and to develop them better. And to be able to have, like, more intimacy with people where I'm able to open up to people and be honest with them in real time. Like, yeah, I'm actually having a really bad day. Or, uh, 
instead of masking and saying like can't complain like a lot of times I say that and really like I would love to be complaining my cat knows that I'm home and he's waiting to give me affection my little girl self is going to run to that affection and allow him to do that and then I believe I'm going to take a bath and prepare to <laughs> prepare to go to bed and recharge my batteries and all the work that lies ahead. There's so much work that lies ahead. <sighs> Tomorrow's also a big day. Tomorrow I am doing Nagna Yoga. With Luna, and this video will be about our flow, <laughs> as stated before. It'll be a perfect video for women, and the video will be available for purchase on a website that starts with a V. <laughs> you can send me a personal email if you are dying to know where exactly this is, and if you actually are interested in this yoga video. And ladies, Nagna Yoga isn't so much about what your body type is or anything like that so please do not get brainwashed on any of these things please 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 i have so much to show you so much to share with you just be patient with me as time allows and as i feel comfortable and develop myself in this way it does help if you are available to join me in a live stream if you could make your comments really heard then or if you would enjoy to go on my video now and leave some comments of some thoughts and ideas. I do read all of your comments and I do my best to respond to every single one. I usually give you a thumbs up and a heart to let you know I found it. I do my best to respond to those that spirit makes clear that I am to have private communications with or direct communications with, should I say. And know that my soul is very excited to be of service and for all the things that source has laid out for me for the next few days. I do hope to connect with you and to hear from you and to be able to accompany you in your personal journey. I am very thankful for those of you who have chosen to open up to me in this intimate way and allow me to know so intricately about your process. I'm going to push home the agenda of sharing your eyeballs with me. A lot of you are fearful and will not show me your eyes. Please know that there's so much hidden inside your eyes. I would love to become a scientist that can do iridology tests myself. Please be patient. What's meant to be will be. Thank you so much for the donation. Thank you so much for the donation of your time. The donation of your energy. The donation of your attention. The donation of your affection. The donation of your truth, of your respect. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I love you. I love you and there's nothing you can do about it. I love you and there's nothing you can do about it. Jai Bhagwan. Namaste. Jai Jai Ram. Hare Hare. <laughs>